Hello everyone, and welcome back for another episode of Stellaris. Uh, in the last episode, we uh, we took on uh, the Yumacera Interstellar Autocracy again, and uh, we've we've wiped the floor with them uh, so much so that uh, it's it's incredibly amusing. I wonder if we can uh, offer them. Hmm, not really. It doesn't look like any of the options are really going to be applicable. Especially because we need to be at peace. And at the moment we're not at peace because we declared war on the uh, the horrible, horrible Genlet Devourers. Their fleet power is superior to ours. Their economic power is superior. Their technological level is equivalent. Uh, and we've, we've bloodied their nose. Um, but we have a lot to do, like a lot to do. Uh, so really, I'm going to be trying to focus as much as possible on on reinforcing our available options. Uh, yeah, let's let's really do what we can to try and shore things up. We got plenty of things in the build queue at the moment. Uh, let's speed things up, and we're we're sending ships uh, back to get Our upgraded, so that we can bring them back down here and uh, start uh, reinvading. Our vessels have been reinvigorated. There's there's going to be a lot of this uh, reinvigoration. Cool. I'll disrupt the space torpedoes Vessels afterburners. Who needs to research anything when we can just take it from the enemy? Vessels have been refitted. Vessels have been refitted. As I said, there, there's going to be a lot of, uh, of refitting. Uh, on the plus side, it's really going to kind of. Uh, yeah, let's send you guys to repair first, then we'll send you to upgrade. Uh, yeah, it's going to do a lot for our score, actually, thinking about it. Let's have a look at the, the victory options. So, we knocked a fair bit off their economic strength. There, yeah, there's there's a lot more that we need to do. I wonder, can we get the Federation really into this? Kirim Enterprises is currently the president. Yeah, it's not not really that much of a thing. So their war exhaustion is more than ours. We would really need to just keep hammering them. Oh geez, it looks like they've they've really started pushing up into Catchillian Trade Union. They need to start pulling that back. That is not good. Let's speed this up a little bit. A new colony has been propagated. Hooray! A new colony. New colony is always good. That's Wenkworth where we know that there's going to be some uh, caretakers. What a better way of describing them. <laughs> We are losing consumer goods quite considerably. Let's have a look and see, can we build any, any new places? Right, over here, we need civilian industries.
Goldenum's getting so many refugees. You know what? Move the civilian industries up to the top, then precinct houses. The food I don't care so much about. You've been fully repaired, but you've got upgrades left to come. Paradisium. We can fit more things here now. So. Again, more civilian industries. Sensors report a sudden burst of activity in the Orthama system. The previously encountered Ketlings have launched a fleet of FTL capable warships. The planet side reconnaissance indicates the enormous junk heaps that make up their homes are in fact concealed extensive mining networks, power plants, fungus farms, and subterranean research facilities. While alarming, their ships have thus far made no display of hostile intent. It's quite as possible the Ketlings are merely establishing defences along their borders. Nevertheless, it's clearly time to recognise these aliens as an empire in their own right. That was the uh, Orthama system. Um, where is... Okay, that's... out of our area. So we don't really need to worry about it. Uh, so Paradisium over here. More civilian industries. We just need a little bit more. There we go. In terms of minerals. Vessels have been refitted. Finish upgrading please. Most of these places are just putting a drain on our resources now. Shining Star is probably the only one that uh, that we really care a huge amount about because it's one of ours. Yeah, I need to sort out the uh, the trade routes as well. So if you come down here, you come down here, you come down here, that should be all of them reconnected. And that might... A hostile fleet has appeared to us. Um... Eskillion's not ours, and... Wait, why are the... So, friendly fleets, Genlock Devourers, no, they're not friendly. They're definitely not friendly. <laughs> the Ketling Star Pact has closed their borders to us. Well, that's fine if they're if they're creating their own little independent thing. It's so cute. Our vessels have been reinvigorated. Panicked Armada and Troubled Armada both fully upgraded. That makes me very happy. Okay. In terms of the fleet manager. It's still not really giving us that reinforce option. There must be a reason for it that I'm just missing. But for now, both of these come down to Zempek and go into a field. And we'll start pushing back. Babylonia. Let's upgrade that, and I think we'll get some more. Now oh, we'll get a chamber of elevation next. A 
it does mean we're going to lose more consumer goods but we've got more on the way and we are making money at last so I think it's it's going to be fine let's land our armies over here The No Entanglements Council, another faction. These petty factions, we've got so many of them. Uh, I honestly don't care about most of them. So, command usage 63. Three. Yeah, we should be able to have more. We definitely should be able to have more. Maybe it only reinforces if they're close enough. That's probably it. That's probably it if they're too far away from... Where things are. So let's let's upgrade this. And we will uh, we'll definitely build another um, shipyard. Move over, ready to go in Bellatrix. Shield capacitor, that's great. Speculative hyperlane breaching, I don't think we'll go for that. I think we'll... Um, we'll finally get chemical plants. So we can start upgrading some of our other places. Uh, and you're going into Bellatrix. Ah, they left. Not a surprise. A little bit of a shame, though. Okay. A worldly invasion has begun. Let's take the next place. That went really quickly. So, Armoured Clamshell is ours. I don't think we want to lose more consumer goods at this point. Uh, we could do with more food. Let's get a little bit more on the go. And, you know, I'm going to buy some more metals. Comfort the Fallen. Uh, no, no, we're going to oppose that. Still, still honestly don't care about comforting the fallen. We should be able to shore up our economy. chase that fleet down just as soon as we can. Oh, they're, they're trying. They're trying. We're going to come in and save. Save everyone and take the system for ourselves. They really want the veto power. All right, well, if everyone wants the veto power, we're not going to be able to stop it. Um, let's ignore that. We'll ignore that because we know what's going on. 
more refugees coming in. Let's shore up our money a little bit. And I think... Yeah, there's a little bit more space on Shining Star, which is our new place. Uh, getting the Chamber of Elevation would be really handy, so I think we'll save up a tiny bit for that. Have we successfully won this fight? Not yet. Uh, Babylonia is getting a little bit unstable. That's fine. They'll they'll be fine. I'm blaming almost all of this on the refugees. Uh, yeah, we need to take Arcturus, and then we can come back to Kyrgyz or down here. By the way, this one, uh, this one's the isolated one. Almost got enough for us to get that building. Another faction found it. Wow, they're really going for it, aren't they? Okay, Chamber of Elevation on the way. Over here, there's nothing we can build. New Eden. We need more housing, actually. A hostile fleet has appeared to us. That's okay. We'll be back in a second. Hold your horses. A group of investigators have found a hidden factory on Shining Star. The building in its state of decay tells of an old civilization. One that excelled at constructing things that stood the test of time. Our population would easily be able to use the facility to add to the colony's production output. Hmm. A study has been completed. Handy. And we've got the planetary capital which we can now build. Commerce Megaplexes, that's going to be very cool. So yeah, let's let's stick with Interstellar Economics. After all, it is the general plan for what we're trying to do. Uh, wait. Huh. Yeah, but Sarah took that. Okay, uh, let's come back down. And retake this uh, system, which we're inevitably going to lose. Okay, over here we wanted a new shipyard and a gun battery. Um, and a listening post, why not? I think that's uh, that's pretty reasonable. Uh, we're going to unfortunately lose this, but our fleet will be here very shortly. Actually, they might they might last long enough. Look at that, just in the nick of time. Okay, well. Let's take Kerbus. They are losing a lot of things, which is great. And I'm wondering if we should um, bring our science ships in. to do these research projects now. <laughs> okay, unity of self-necrophaging populations will provide unity. That'll help us push through uh, the next couple of these. So our unity production should step up quite significantly. That's a big boost for us right there. Uh, come down to Rebalius. And in the meantime, I will keep shoring up our economy as best as I can.
Now, of course, we don't want to run out of um, money, resources, and, and things like that, so I, I can't just keep expanding uh, in the way that we are. Um, ooh. Energy Nexus would be good. Let's get that and hope that we can really push into it. Safe Harbour can have another building. Good. Uh, I th think we need some food production over here. And maybe going for something like hydroponic farms. All the refugees flying around everywhere, that's that's kind of what's killing our economy. We were not expecting to be sprawling quite this much. Okay, so the crew we assigned to work the old factory on Shining Star has disappeared. We could send a new workforce to take their place, or we could raise the facility to the ground, making sure that it will not happen again. Uh, it still suits our needs. Uh, an odd factory is an odd factory. I'm sure it's going to be more interesting in the long run. Debris has been analysed. Iron disruptors, X-ray lasers, auto cannons, afterburners, and extra research. I love all of these things. Explore that wormhole, let's see where it goes. Hell's Moor, yeah, which is all the way down to the other side of their area. Let's grab it. And in the meantime, I'm going to bring you down to Siddhar and we'll gradually like take this area, I think. I think it was definitely the right time for us to start fighting this fight. If we'd let them get any larger, it would have been very dangerous. Mm -hmm. Debris has been analysed. We're losing so many energy credits. take this one. I mean, maybe we could start selling metals because we're producing so many, actually. A new archaeological site, Deja Vu Dig. That's on uh, Dalphine. Oh, right, yeah, because we're now, now in a position to see this, uh, this neck of the woods. Well, 
not really that interested in, uh, in pursuing new new sections like that. But it's curious, nevertheless. Okay, that's great. Can we get you to Ublon? Or do we want to pull back to our own territory? I think we probably want to pull back this way. Armour clamshell. Uh, we still need consumer goods, so let's get some more civilian industries on the go. There's a lot of stuff to do when you're trying to fight a war against a devouring horde. I mean, they've, they've really overextended is, is the problem. And with that overextension... ...comes a bit of a reliance on... Uh, ...on their... Uh, ...on their general force. So their fleet power is still superior to ours, which is it's a bit of a surprise. But it's so spread out, whereas ours is located in just one place. Uh, gleaming shell. Let's uh, let's carry on with you as hydroponic farms, I think. Goldenum's got overcrowding. Of course it does because there's been so many people come in. Low stability on Yamaka. Not a, not a surprise given we took it off them. Yeah, their their ruling class is, is unemployed, so that's that's why they're not happy. It is what it is. They'll uh, they'll remain under our rule. Uh, Paradisium, you've got overcrowding again. I don't think there's a huge amount we can do. We can replace another city district, uh, another mining district with a city district. so many credits. Right, where are our fleets? Keep pushing forwards. We really want to construction venture completed. Do as much as we can in one go. Okay, cool. So, with the shipyard in place, we can build more ships faster. Honestly, don't know if we should, but we can. we take this place next and then push down here we're kind of just chasing them down with with one set of fleets is really what it comes down to against the starport, that was against the outpost. And 
And they did have a fleet in here, but uh, it's uh, not exactly amounted to much, has it? Uh, come down to Cursor next. This is going to bankrupt us. A study has been completed. Yeah, this is massively going to bankrupt us. So that'll last 10 months. That'll last another 10 months. I think New Eden was supposed to be our money-making place. Let's um, let's try and upgrade the energy nexus. And in the meantime. Let's uh, let's go for relatively cheap things, just to keep pushing, uh, pushing along. We're making food now, uh, which is good. That's a step in the right direction. Okay, uh, we need to keep pushing forwards. So, into Saginus. Uh, I can bring our invasion fleet down, actually. Although they don't really have anything for us to invade, do they? Oh, it's the Everite Horde that is partly occupying this. Okay. So, so Cursor is our natural dividing point. So we want to come back and try and help out before the Genet Devourers take this whole area. That's what we want to do. We've got a significant advantage in our cells, which is great. The second group of individuals has gone missing after working at the odd factory. Fortunately, one of the workers was able to leave a recording behind, revealing that there are traps capturing unsuspecting workers. The traps have been disabled and we should be able to use the factory without further issue. However, the populace are none too happy about the potential death trap, no matter what we say. Invest in securing the location. We'll uh, we'll try and make it better. Try being the uh, the key word there. Uh, we want an energy grid here. And upgrade the planetary administration. Yeah, this is uh, this is kind of what I was worried about. Uh, is they're coming into our territory, and they're actually big enough, having shot on through, that 
we might be in trouble with this. So come back over here and we'll actually work through it this way. It's going to take a long time to come back. Are you guys going to send your fleet through? Are you going to help out? Yes, they are. Look at this. Oh, except they're actually going to then take the system. Which is totally not cool. Now, Erinus Station is bigger. They're actually going up to Yarak. That's not what I was expecting. Uh, New Eden, what are we going to do with you? Commercial zones to get more trade values. Decide that in the future. Oh, you guys are a long way away. I mean, the station is trying, but it's it's just not geared up for that kind of combat. A study has been completed. It's such a shame because all of our borders were nice and secure. Um, yeah, let's... Let's give ourselves a buffer of cash. Really unfortunate. Okay, so next bit of research. Um, yeah, let's let's push for faster research. How long is it going to take you guys to reach 834 days? 836 days going in different directions. And where are they moving next? Or are they staying still? If they're staying still, that's actually not bad. That means we'll be able to run them down. Relocate the galactic market. Um, let's oppose that. It's definitely best served where it is, so let's not question it any further. They might be heading back. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Obviously a big concern for ours. Uh, let's let's buy plenty of goods. A study has been completed. Commercial megaplexes, amazing. Uh, yeah, let's go for some some cheap things. Ground defense planning for now, as we bring our fleets back to tidy up this mess. So you're 600 days away. You're 500 days away. New Eden, let's... Um three housing and one available job. Let's keep pushing for money, I think. The plant's got quite a deficit. That's that's not a problem. Oh, oh, you're in trouble. You better run. Now we can take back our systems. Oh, I really hope they don't take Erinus. Because it was our place, and in my mind it still is our place. got overcrowding so we need to sort that out let's upgrade this and we're out of money so let's get some more money where is this going they might be coming down here if they come up through Shinju then we might lose that system to our allies, which would be a real shame. A hostile fleet has appeared to us. Okay. Uh, it's not technically on our borders, so we'll ignore it for now, and it's not a big fleet either. That'll, that'll buy us 10 months of uh, consumer goods usage. A study has been completed. Ooh, right. So, we've now gathered sufficient Elgate insights to research the technology behind them. Once this has been done, one of our science ships should be able to abort the perpetual maintenance cycle that they're stuck in. So this is definitely something that we want to do. Activate the L gate. 40 months? That seems like a perfectly valid thing for us to be doing. Uh, over here, we've got so many things that we're part way through. Let's. Uh, Let's push through them quickly, at least as quickly as we can. We're almost in a position to take back our systems. Actually, I just realised our trade routes are going to be being disrupted. which is going to be contributing to our lack of money. I mean, it's not a huge amount, but uh, it definitely makes a difference. T 
yeah, our star bases are costing us quite a lot. And our ships as well. So finishing this war and parking up our ships at um, at a place where they're not going to cost us anything would probably be a smart move. So Bashbat. Bashbat wasn't one of them. Roskin? Roskin. Okay. Roskin is where we're going to park up our armies for now. That'll save us a little bit. A field station will downgrade. Uh, we wanted to keep Zempek. Hydrobius. Downgrade. So that's that's two to bring it back down to 14, which should cut some of our cost. In fact, that's that's cut a significant amount of our cost. That's a huge difference. That makes me wonder if the other ones that we've got. So. Pash is a double shipyard. Saracen is a trade yard and a shipyard. It's probably worth us keeping that. This one, this is just a double anchorage and crew quarters. Let's downgrade that. Cuts the cost a little bit. It's, it, it's all helpful, is what it is. Alright, we are nearly there for retaking our places. And then once we've got this back, we can settle the status quo and park up our ships for a while. The study has been completed. Let's, yeah, let's just get the uh, naval capacity up for now. Necrophaging population, brilliant. Uh, this is in Krobus. Where did they go? Oh, they came from up here. Okay. That's not good. Can't be everywhere at once. These guys are probably going to help out a little in terms of uh, defense. Yeah, they're heading on through. Although they're going to have their asses kicked. A study has been completed. <laughs> Okay, there's afterburners. Construction template seems like a good option to reduce our sprawl, uh, but I think I'll go for crystal infused plating for the moment. We might have to sacrifice Bailey or, or Bellatrix or something, uh, but it's most important that uh, that we get Eroness and Shuju back. And then we can settle the status quo. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're really not going to survive, are they? This tidal wave had come up. 
That would have been perfectly fine. Okay, one system back. Second system back. And settle the status quo. We will accept this for now, which means we get to keep Ripcor. And we've made a huge dent, a huge dent into their area. Uh, it does mean that our friends are unfortunately um, going to be struggling with the Horde. But it will give us a chance to reinforce our borders and to uh, tidy everything up, which we're desperately, desperately in need of. Uh, let's buy some more supplies. And we need to park up our ships somewhere where they're not going to cost us anything, just for the moment. So let's send you to repair. Let's send you to repair. Are you going to repair at Tonova? Is there a crew quarters there? No, there's a shipyard. used to be a trade hub, but it doesn't really need to be. So Continuum is an obvious choice. Saracen... It's not a great place, it's not a terrible place either. Roskin? Yeah, Roskin's... Roskin's probably the best place for us to send everyone. Let's, uh, let's get everyone up there. Eroness Station itself. Let's uh, reconnect it with the trade route. I think uh, we'll have it reinforce itself for the future. Okay, uh, unfortunately we're out of time for today. Uh, so I'd say a successful war. Uh, not Definitely not an easy one, and we are obviously going to be struggling with our resources. Uh, but hopefully uh, having everything moved around like this will make a big difference. We've got some places that we can, uh, we can be upgrading and hopefully get a little bit more money and sort out our general cash flow. Um, if you have enjoyed this, be sure to give a big thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, go ahead and do so and you'll be told when the next episode goes live. Otherwise, I'll see you next time for another episode of Stellaris. See you soon.